Okay, so recently there's been this meme trending on YouTube called Get Stick Bugged LOL. And um, I decided I want to make a tutorial on how to make this. If you've, if you've seen my channel recently, you notice that I, I did my own Stick Bug LOL where my Roblox character turns into a stick bug. Um, I'm sorry, that was the only thing I could come up with. And um, I just wanted to make a tutorial so other people could make their own too. Um, unfortunately, I think this is only, um, possible in programs where there's actually an animation editor, like Premiere Pro. I'm gonna be using Premiere Pro for this tutorial, but if there's any other programs that have an animation editor, then I'm pretty sure you could do this in there as well. So, obviously, first we're gonna want to record, so first, first we're gonna download or record the stick bug video that we're gonna get. Um... I'll, um, I already have a recording of it, so I'll leave a link in the description, but if you can't download or empty forge or something, I don't know, I don't, um, you could just search up get stick bug wall and you could, you could record some stuff and until you get the whole thing. So once you have the file, um, which I have it in my Bandicam folder, um, Yep, it's this one. Also, it doesn't matter if you, um, like, has a watermark, as long as the watermark is at the top where the video isn't. And it doesn't matter if there's this, like, annoying little, like, bar down here with, like, the YouTube play button and, like, the settings and stuff. Because we're gonna be cutting off this thing. We're cutting off this EA thing anyway. Um, and we're gonna be making our own. However, the thing that we really need is the get stick bug lol. Um, so once you have the recording, um, now we obviously need these sticks. So open up Paint 3D or whatever thing you, you use. You want to start open a new project. I recommend the resolution is high. Otherwise, you're gonna see the pixels and stuff. So I do like something like 1000 by 1000 and now we make the canvas transparent and you want to draw a line and that's going to be your stick so yeah right here so we're going to make a thickness like 50 or something mm, 75 yeah and we're going to want to stretch it out a little bit so if it's the image like that and you're going to want to save the image and when you're done, you should have a stick um, in your files where you saved it. This is my file. I'll also put a link in the description to this image as well. And now you have your assets. Um, you're going to need one more, which is the thing that's going to be turning into the stick bug. For me, I did my Roblox character, but you could do whatever you want. You have to make sure that you can fit nine sticks, because in the video, there's, well, nine sticks that appear and then one one then one more beat and we're so what once you got that open up premiere pro or whatever editor you use it also has to have an animation editor otherwise you can't do it okay so now that um premiere pro is open you want to just name your project or something like that like that something like that you want to click okay first thing you want to import would be your video recording. So I'm gonna open up the video recording. The and you're and you're wanna cut off the part. You wanna cut off all like this part and stuff. You just want the stick bug. So now you got that. You can unlink these and then delete only the video. We need the audio for it, but we don't need the video because um, I think you know why. <laughs> we're trying to make our own, so. Yeah, drag it over there. And now, now we're gonna want to crop this because we don't want, we don't want all this YouTube uh, UI stuff around here. We just want the video. So what we're gonna do is put the crop on it. And we're gonna wanna scale it up until it fits your screen. So let me just change the position stuff. Scale, I, I recommend like 160 in Premiere Pro if your screen resolution is 1080. And then you wanna put it right in the middle. 
Now we're gonna crop off all this like gray stuff. If you're using YouTube white mode, then it's gonna be white. It doesn't matter. Um, but you just wanna crop it off. And I recommend like 18% for the left. The right, um, I don't know. Hold on. The right's a little bit more because this is like, like the side of the screen. So 47%. Good. So now we just got this. So once the video ends, you want to crop off the ending of the video because you don't want this right here. Um, so you just want to. Okay, so right here should be good. There we go. So now we just got our stick bug video, but now we need the thing turning into the stick bug. So um, take the object you're gonna want to make into a stick bug i'm gonna go into like my roblox folder or something and like i'm just gonna take like something like hmm, i don't know um, a domino crown or something like that yeah you can make like a domino crown into a stick bug something like that Be all, i also recommend a gray background um which if you have a white image or, or gray image or something, any any like image, like just blank image will work fine. So I'm just gonna do my 1080. Um, oh no, that's, oh wait, hold on. Okay, wait a minute. Oh wait, yeah. 1920, 1080. Import that in. Now, you notice it's a white background, but we wanna go to, we wanna add the tint effect. We're gonna tint it gray. So map white to, you wanna map it to gray. There we go, we got our gray background. So there we go, now I just wanna scale this up. It's a little bit small. And there we go, we already have our object, but we obviously need to animate it turning into a stick bug. So we wanna stretch out the 1080 and stuff, and the, the, the object or something. So. And now, now that you've got that, you're gonna wanna take your stick and, dang it, I forgot Premiere Pro, the search does not work in Premiere Pro. You're gonna take your stick and um, wanna open it. And now, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna stretch it out. And you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna duplicate it. So hold down on it. Hold down on alt, drag it to track number four, and then stop holding down on alt. And you wanna keep doing that until they're, until um, they all fill up, until they all stretch out to track number 11. Because there's nine sticks and therefore there's 11 stuff, there's 11 video tracks all together because um, nine plus two, because one, two, yeah, you, you know what I mean. So we're gonna keep doing this until we fill up all the way to track number 11. So keep in mind, we're gonna nest all these together in the end so it doesn't take up all the, all the space, but we're gonna be doing it after we animate it because when you nest something, it basically turns into an entirely like, it's like, an, it's like a video and you can't animate like individual parts of the video unless you like do all this masking and stuff and it takes, it's pretty time consuming. It's a lot, so this will be a lot faster. So you wanna take your first stick, you wanna, you wanna align it, you wanna make it a, align it when the beat, which would be right here. And you wanna do this for the rest of the sticks. So now we have all these um, all aligned. We want to make sure it has, wanna make sure it's one frame over the stick bug video this will allow us to actually see the sticks on the stick bug so we know where to drag them when it turns into the stick bug so we want to put one just one little frame one frame over the stick bug and there we go now we'll be able to see our sticks when we transform it into the stick bug and let's so now we've done that wrong. 
So now we're gonna wanna move it to the appropriate places. So let's take our first stick. Um, let's take our first stick and let's move it like somewhere over, rotate it. Let's move it to like the first like domino on the domino crown or something. So now you wanna do it for the next one. Let's move it to like the next domino or something. You wanna find out, um, you wanna find nine places you can put the sticks. So we're gonna scale this down. Take this a little bit. And we already got our first two, but we still have um, seven more to go. So let's, let's do the rest of the seven. Scale it down a little bit. Rotate it. Position it to where we want it. Now, do this until you have you have nine sticks in the appropriate places. So now we got our, all our sticks in the correct places. Now let's watch and see what happens. So that's what you should have. And now, the extra beep right here, that's when the domino crown should disappear, or whatever thing you're using that's turning into a stick bug. I just chose a domino crown because uh, it's the only thing I could think of. So, just this. And there, now all you have to do is like crop it, or not crop it, um, shorten it so it disappears right at this, right here at this point. So now when you when you watch it, it should disappear at that one last beat. And sorry if the way I explain it is really confusing. I'm bad at I'm kinda bad at explaining. I, I'm I'm not signcom.net, um okay. Um trust me, I do not know as much as about Premier Pro as I do, so yeah, but I'm just making this quick tutorial because no one has made one yet, at least I don't think, but yeah, not from what I've heard of. And now, and this is where the stick bug appears. But obviously, as you notice, it isn't turning into a stick bug, so obviously we wanna do that. So enable animation. So obviously you wanna move your track to when the audio starts playing, which would be right there. And you wanna, we wanna enable the animation for the position, scale, and rotation for every track. This will create keyframes right where it, right where the audio comes where it turns into the stick bug. And now, we want that one extra frame over it so we can actually see where we can put the stuff. And now, now move each part to where the stick bug's limbs would be. So we're gonna move this first part and it's gonna create um, some keyframes automatically. Um, so when we position it, um, hold on. When we position it like that, it moves. See, like it's moving right there. It's moving from there to that. And we'll do that with every single limb. Um, there's only nine limbs, I believe. There's like 20, then I'd be a little bit longer and would be harder. So wanna do this until you complete your stick bug. Please note, it will take some time, but eventually you will have a stick bug built and it will turn into this dancing stick bug. So when you're done, this should be your results right here. And that's pretty much all you need to do. It's pretty easy. Um, I 
when I saw this all those stick bug meme videos, I decided to make my own. It it ended up actually being easier than I expected. So it's pretty much all you gotta do. But in the end, this is pretty much pretty much what you get. It's pretty cool. And I pretty I like it. If you want more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe and leave in the comments what you want a tutorial. If you like this video, thought it was helpful, make sure to like, leave a like on the video. And anyway, I'll see you guys on another video on the channel. Bye and subscribe.